Hi guys, my name is Imran and in this tutorial series we are going to learn about what are hooks in React. What they actually are, uh, why should we use them, uh, what are different types of hooks, how to implement them uh, in React and all of that information. So you must be wondering what are hooks. So as you can see this picture that I have uh, put over here, there's a man with the hook and he's trying to hook into React. Right? So basically, hooks are functions that allow us to hook into React features. These React features could be state and other features as well. Okay. So hook is a special function that lets you hook into React features. That's how it is. And it's going to be so simple for you to remember if you just look at this man's picture, you know, he's trying to hook into React. Yep. So that's what they basically are for. Uh, they were introduced in 16.8 version of React and use state and other React features without writing a class, which means the best part is that you can actually use state without having to write a class. Uh, now, there could be problems when using class, which we will discuss in some time, uh, but it is important for you to note that hooks don't work inside classes. The whole reason why they were created so that we don't have to use a class whenever we want to use state. So why use uh, React hooks? What, are the re what is the reason we should use them? Okay. First is to avoid the confusion of this keyword and bind this. So generally you must be wondering if you work with React classes, uh, most of us have a difficulty understanding when should we use this this keyword and even if we are using we are supposed to bind it unless we are using an arrow function right so this uh, actually rules out all of the confusion of this because you don't have to use a class and so you don't have to use this and worry about binding this okay so it this gives you uh, functional components uh, so hooks allow you to use functional components and you can use uh, the state inside of functional components you wouldn't need to use this Okay, classes don't minify as well and they make hot reloading flaky and unreliable. So for performance as well, uh, classes uh, aren't good compared to functional components. They allow you to reuse the stateful logic without changing your component hierarchy, which means that uh, if you work with uh, advanced uh, React, you must know about higher order components. So if there are multiple components and we need to share the logic between the two components, we actually need to uh, you know, wrap them inside of higher order components so we can share the logic. Hooks would allow you to not have to worry about wrapping them into higher components. They allow you to easily share the common functionality. Uh, you have complex component becomes hard to understand. Uh, this means that, you know, classes come with a baggage you know they come with the life cycle methods and and initially when I started learning life cycle methods then even I was a little confused you know which method is going to be uh, called at what time there's component did mount there's component did update component will unmount and after that they introduced some of the new uh, methods as well like uh, get derived state from props there are a whole bunch of them okay now, when you are actually writing your logic, you have to think where you need to write your log logic when you are dealing with classes. For example, uh, if you want to go ahead and call any API, you do it in component did mount. Uh, if you are going to register any events inside component did mount, you also need to remember to unsubscribe it uh, from it when component unmounts. So all of those things. So basically you have your logic scattered whole across the classes and it becomes difficult for you to manage the classes. So hooks solve this problem by giving you uh, like use effect and use use effect uh, hooks basically. So you can go ahead and do all your uh, calling APIs or you can also do the uh, event you know handling events you can set your events inside of the same function and then they return another function in which you can do all your unsubscription so basically you can organize it better okay and hooks make it easy for you to test because you don't have like whole bunch of uh, fun uh, you know functions like uh, component did mount component did update and all of that stuff so it becomes easy for you to test as well because you write more cleaner code
So I already have a React project set up. Uh, there will be a Git repository for this, which you can take help from. Uh, so you don't actually have to write things from scratch. There's a very uh, rich and extensive repository that I've created. You can see in um, XIR slash React hooks gives you lots of information about hooks. There are different branches available. Uh, you know, there's a to-do app as well. You can have a look at. Okay, so you will get all your code, so you don't have to worry about it. If you want to start uh, coding along with me, you can actually do that. Okay, great. So this is my uh, app component. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create uh, a component called Home. And let's import React. Let me zoom it for you. From react and we are not going to make a class component we will just make a functional component so let's name it as home and we are going to use arrow function I am assuming that if you are watching this video you already have some basic knowledge about uh, react which is important if you haven't there is a tutorial series that I have created on react which you can watch so export default home this is going to be a functional component and let's just import it inside of our app component so I'm just going to say home and it's imported uh, I'm also going to run my webpack dev server so I'm going to say npm run dev this is going to me this is going to start the server at port 8080 so this is where it is I'm using webpack dev server okay it's loading up great Awesome. Now inside of this home component, what we can do is, now generally you must notice that if you are dealing with class component, you have to define a constructor, then you have to write props over here, then you have to do super, right? You have to do all of that, right? And then if you want to define a state, you have to do this dot state is equal to and let's say if you want to uh, put counter and set to zero, this is how you do it, right? In uh, when you're using the hooks, then all you have to do is just pull out use state, which is a state hook, and you don't have to do all of this. I will keep a comment out so you take a reference from here. Okay, what you can do is you can say const and you can write in fact you're going to call a function okay which is called use state okay now this function basically takes one parameter which is going to be initial state so we can create a state and say initial state is equal to and we can put a counter over here counter is equal to zero Okay, and then we can just pass this initial state over here. I will show you how we can simplify this, but just to show you a comparison between what you used to do with classes, this is how you do it here. Okay, so now uh, this function basically takes initial state and it returns an array of two items. The first item it returns is the state variable. So because it returns an array, we are going to destructure it okay so we're going to say first item will be let's say uh, count or we can say counter count and say count okay and let's instead of writing this as an object you know that in react hooks you can directly write a, num uh, a number or you can put uh, array as well so it doesn't have to be an object unlike your classes so I can just put 0 over here okay so it will give me the count which is basically the initial state okay uh, and it's going to give me a method which will be set counter okay so basically what this means is that when you call this function it's going to set the value of count as the initial state and it's also going to give us a method which will be set counter which is as good as this dot uh, this dot set state okay so let's see that in action i'm going to return a div 
from this component and I'm just going to create a button here and let's say increment counter okay so the job of this is basically to increment count and over here I can do an on click and then I can create a function over here and the job of that function will basically be to uh, handle the click handle on click arrow function and then instead of doing this dot set state and setting the counter value I can just do set counter so basically set counter is as good as this dot set state okay and over here is going to ask me for the new value so what do you want to increment it with so initial value will be count so I can put count over here directly and then I want to add one so whenever this function is called basically I want to add one and now since this is not a class component we can just directly call this function over here without having to worry about doing this and then binding this and all that stuff that's not required anyways you don't have to bind it anyways because you're using arrow function okay and then we can do a, we can do a spam or we can put it inside of p tag for now let's say okay and inside of this we can just put count okay and let's see how that works so you can see we have increment count okay let's give it some class name container I'm using bootstrap so I can just use that okay let's give it some margin on top so we are not focusing on the uh, CSS right now so we can skip that I think we can put it in spam will be better and then we can give some margin left of 30 pixels okay it's better great so if you click on this you can see it's increasing and now if you do an inspect element and if you go on to the react and if you go to this component so your component is home which is a functional component you can see the state value is changing and this is basically hook state if you click on this you can see this is changing uh, Increase this, I will increase this as well. So can you see that this is changing? Great, awesome. So which means we don't we didn't have to write whole bunch of uh, you know constructor and then super and then initializing the state like that. Calling use state has taken care of that problem. And the best part is that we can even simplify this rather than creating a whole new function for this. I can just write it over here. So I can call this function here and this function is going to return set counter okay so this is es6 this is basically as good as this return yeah. so in es6 i'm sure you're already aware that you can write it like that perfect okay now if i check i'm doing the same job awesome great so you can see how simple it is so if you check what's happening over here, when you call this function, it's going to take a parameter, which is initial state. Currently, we are setting it to zero. In fact, we can get rid of this also, and we can just put zero over here. You can see this is initial state. So this is going to set the initial state, uh, and on initial render, the count value will be equal to zero. Okay, so basically, this function is returning two things, two items, in form of an array. So, and we are destructuring. So basically it is returning an array and we are pulling counter account out of it and set counter out of it. So set counter is as good as this dot set state. Okay, so when it returns these two items, this will be equal to zero on the initial render. And the next time, whenever the set counter is called, it's going to update the value of the count. Okay, and it's going to increase the value every time. So set counter is making our life easier. You can see how simplified this has become if we had to write a lot of codes if this was done in classes we had to worry about the uh, using this binding this in case if you are not using es6 yes, arrow functions uh, so we had to worry about too many things but here you can see how this simple it's become okay 
So this was just an introduction, guys. Uh, you're going to learn more about deeply, in fact, deeply about uh, hooks in React. And I, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more information. Do write comments uh, in case if you have any questions. And there's a lot more coming up for you guys because using hooks are going to be pretty amusing, especially when you're writing complex classes. Okay, see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.